Hello everyone, my name is Gandolin, and welcome to my very first Q&A video. If you saw my video from last Saturday, you'll know that my channel has reached 2,000 subscribers. Again, I have to say a huge thank you to all of you for supporting my channel. To celebrate the milestone, I asked you all to send me some questions for this Q&A. It's my way of saying thank you, and also lets you get to know me a little bit better. So let's jump into these questions. I'll start with some personal ones first, and then we'll talk WoW after. The first question comes from Home 9 c and Zolgam, who actually gave me the idea for this Q&A, and they both want to know how old I am. I just turned 28 in January. Next, from Chia Han Meng, Sam Winchester, and Matthew101, they want to know where I'm from. I live in the United States. Originally, I'm from Connecticut, but currently living in Massachusetts near Boston. Next question comes from Kral Vaklav, Moldovnu Minia, and Zolgam, and they all want to know how I started playing WoW and what got me into it. So I started in 2006 when I was in high school, just a couple of months before Burning Crusade released, and as I'm sure is similar for a lot of people, my friends got me into the game. Next question comes from Srivala Kulkarni and Jim, and they both want to know why I started this channel, what motivated me, and Jim also wants to know where I want it to go in the future. So I was inspired by other WoW YouTubers like Bellular and Noble to make a channel, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I looked around and I didn't really see like a go-to person for guide videos. And I've always helped my friends and guildies out with different things, and they always found it helpful. And as a former teacher, I knew that I could make some really great guides. So that's what motivated me to start the channel. I wanted to make guides to help people out. As for the future, uh, I hope that the channel continues to grow as well as it has. I've been really pleased with it. And who knows, maybe I could become that household name for WoW Guides. It would also be really cool if this could become my full-time job, but as long as I'm helping people out, I'm happy. Next question comes from Botman76, who wants to know if I like to make YouTube videos. I like it very much, I love editing the videos, it's a lot of fun, and it also feels really great when I finish one, and it's posted, and people start commenting on it about how helpful it was, I really enjoy that feeling. The last personal question comes from Noah Dunn, who wants to know, how long have you been playing WoW, and with that, what is your overall opinion of the future ahead? So like I said, I started playing in 2006, so I've been playing pretty consistently for about 11 years. I never really took a break, I just had a few points when life got too busy to play, but it never lasted very long. As for the future ahead, I'm optimistic about it. The storytelling has been improving every expansion, and Blizzard recently hired Christy Golden, who has written several of the novels, to help them out. So I'm really excited to see what she's gonna do. She actually wrote the epilogue cinematics for Legion, and those were fantastic. I also think that the gameplay gets more polished with each expansion. The spec revamps from Legion were great overall. They really added uniqueness to the different specs of each class, and I really liked it. Now let's tackle some WoW-related questions. First up, Zolgam wants to know what realms I play on, and what my mains have been since I started. So my Alliance characters are all on US Proudmoor, and my Horde characters are all on US Thrall. My main has always been Gandolin. It was the first tune that I ever made, and I've never abandoned him. I've been Gandolin since the day I started playing WoW. Next up, Aaron Armstrong wants to know, what made you decide to be an Alliance over the Horde? So there are really three main reasons why I chose Alliance. First is that when I started playing, I was obsessed with Lord of the Rings, and I always loved magic classes, so I wanted to make a tune that was an homage to Gandalf and Merlin, hence Gandolin. The second reason is that I resonated more with the Alliance theme of mutual cooperation for the betterment of all than I did with the Horde themes. 
And the third reason is that all of my friends were also playing Alliance. Next, we have a question from Asgurkvik360, who wants to know, what is your favorite race in WoW? This is a tough one, so I'm going to split it into two different categories. Aesthetically, I like the Draenei the best. I think they look coolest of all the races. I also love the look of all their technology, and their ships are absolutely gorgeous. The Exodar and the Vindicar are two of my favorite locations in-game. Lore-wise, my favorite race is the Pandaren. I really resonate with a lot of their ideals. They're always seeking balance and harmony in all things. They also ask those really important questions of why do we fight, and more importantly, what is worth fighting for? There's so much negativity in the world and people are always fighting, but I feel like a lot of people don't often ask themselves what is actually worth fighting for. I feel like that mindset might bring a lot more peace to our world. The next question comes from Nasty Blubbin, who wants to know what's your favorite spell in the game from any class? This is a really tough question. There are so many different choices and so many really cool spells. I recently leveled my priest to make the priest hidden appearance video, and I absolutely love the shadow spells, mostly because of all the whispers you hear when you're casting them. I think that's really cool. But I'm gonna have to say that my favorite spell in the game is Pyroblast. I was a fire mage for a very long time, it's only in Legion that I switched to Arcane, and nothing quite beats the feeling of hurling a giant fiery boulder at an enemy's face. It's very, very satisfying, and it's one of my favorite spells. Next we've got a question from Sunflake and Zulgam. They want to know, what's my favorite expansion and why? For this one, I'm gonna have to say Legion. I loved the scale of the story. Taking on the Burning Legion was massive and really cool. I also enjoyed all of the new characters that we met throughout the story, and the highlights and spotlights for the existing characters. It was nice to see Velen come to the forefront a little bit more. I also thought it was really fun to quest and level in Legion, and the dungeon and endgame content is great, so overall I really enjoyed Legion. A close second for my favorite expansion would be Pandaria. Next, a question from Zolgam. What's my favorite cinematic? This is another really difficult question. There have been so many great moments over the years in different cinematics, from the excitement at seeing Arthas in the Lich King cinematic, to the hope offered by alternate Velen's sacrifice at the end of Shadowmoon Valley, to the pride that I feel when I see Anduin in the Battle for Azeroth cinematic and how far he's come. But I'm going to have to pick for my favorite cinematic the Mists of Pandaria one. This is, again, for similar reasons to why I like the Pandaren. Chen's speech throughout the cinematic about what is worth fighting for it really resonates with me, and I love it. I've also never been a huge fan of the faction rivalry. I play Alliance, but I've never really been like, a ah, Horde sucks or anything like that. So seeing both sides get their butt kicked was really fun. So I'm going to say Pandaria cinematic. All right, last question from Zolgam is, did you like Legion? I liked Legion very much. I think it was the best expansion so far, both in terms of lore and gameplay. Next, we've got a question from LOLWTF Name. Which zones did you enjoy the most throughout Legion, lore-wise, aesthetics, etc.? So this might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I liked Suramar best, both aesthetically and lore-wise. It's a beautiful zone. The city itself is especially gorgeous. I just love being in Suramar. It's so pretty. And the story was great. It was varied. It was exciting. There was a lot going on. There were a lot of ups and downs. It was really satisfying to help the Nightfallen from their lowest point to taking back their city and winning. And I honestly didn't mind the rep gating. I feel like there's a lot of dislike for Suramar that comes because of the reputation gating and because Good Suramaritan is required for things like flying, but I don't think that's really fair to the zone itself. I think it's a really well-constructed zone. I had a lot of fun with it, and I don't mind going through it on all my alts. 
Next, we've got a question from Shiver. Do you think there is too much of a rep grind currently? I find it especially frustrating. I really don't think so. Reps have always been a part of WoW since the very beginning, so I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. And nowadays, three to four weeks to earn Exalted, I think it's a pretty fair expectation. It was a lot worse with some of the reps from the past, like the Molten Core rep you can only get in that raid, so it's really difficult to get to Exalted. I think a lot of people exaggerate their frustrations with rep grinds. You don't have to play for 10 hours a day. You know, a lot of people just want to get rewards immediately. I also have found that a lot of people who complain about it don't really offer any kind of alternative. Like, what would you like to see change? What would you prefer different about the reputation system? The only thing that I think they should change is to add back the commendations from Mr. Pandaria. For those of you that don't remember them, you would earn rep the normal way on one tune, and then at a certain point you could buy a token that would increase your rep gain for your entire account by 100%. Originally, for those tokens, you had to reach Revered to get them, but I'd be fine if they changed it to Exalted, so you'd grind one tune all the way up to Exalted the old-fashioned way, and then all your alts would get double rep, so it would be a lot faster. I wish they would add that back, but other than that, that's the only thing I would change. I really think the rep grinds are fine. Next, we've got a question from Magic Turtle, who wants to know which allied race I'm most excited for. This one's going to have to be a tie between the Void Elves and the Nightborn. I love both of their looks and their stories. I've done the acquisition quest lines for both, and they're really great, and I'm looking forward to leveling them so I can see their starting experiences and get those lovely heritage armor sets. And our last question comes from Spencer Craig, who wants to know, will I be making videos on how to obtain the new Warfront armor sets and weapons coming out once BFA goes live, what you need to do to unlock them, rep requirements, scores to beat, etc. Of course I will. Um, I try to avoid spoilers as much as possible, so I won't be checking out the beta all that much. Um, but once BFA launches and we get into those Warfronts, I will definitely be making videos about what you have to do to earn those awesome looking armor and weapons. Alright everyone, that's it for today's Q&A. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I'm thinking about making it a regular thing. Let me know if that's something you'd like me to do. Thank you for all the questions, and thank you all again so much for helping me reach 2,000 subs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, or if there's something you want me to cover. Check the link in the description to follow me on Twitter, and of course, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you'll get notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.